Um, Marissa was evicted with five votes, I've got here. That's all of them, by Mm. the way. That is every single vote available, which means Sophie also voted out Marissa. Who else was on the block with her? Uh, Kieran. That's Mm. strange. Mm. They're seemingly sick of Kieran. Yeah. But I suppose it comes down to the Kieran can't win anything. Yeah. But I think one thing Kieran could win, ironically, is the public vote. Yeah, it's an yeah, anti could. Dan and Matt thing. I think you could. So they need to think on. Especially if he's been on driving school Australia or whatever before. Yeah. And he's known as Australia's worst driver. And he's <laughs> and he's an option that's not, you know, One of those the dickheads. macho twat, so Yeah, but can he beat the might of Broken Hill? Well, where does Kieran come from? He could come from Fixed Hill for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> uh so then yeah, la- lasagna is in the oven, 40 minutes, and um, put some sunflower seeds on top. You put sunflower seeds on top of the lasagna. Some, uh, I hate sunflower seeds, they just get stuck in your teeth. And then Marissa took the bins out as she left, which <laughs> I've written as a metaphor for this season. <laughs> Have you got notes on the next episode? Yes. Oh, can you read yours then? Oh, okay. <laughs> I've had enough. Um, just to say, so mm. that last episode, it mm. was unanimous for Xavier. Yeah. This next episode, unanimous for Marissa as well. Yeah, uh, the sheep vote. So they're all starting to follow each other. Mm, the sheep vote is in town. Um, however, this next episode, mm. not so, Ooh. not such a clean sweep. Ooh, um, big brother. In episode 15, Sarah confirmed that she is not actually a dwarf. Mm. And big brother was like, I don't know, what did people say? Something funny to her. He was like taking the piss out of her being short. I'm like, that's sizest. I'm short. He was like, definitely not a dwarf or something like that. <laughs> um, and she was like, I've got... She a... didn't say the M word. She said... I oh, know she didn't say the M word, mm. Um <laughs> Oh, yeah, the M <laughs> or, word. Or that one. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say any of the words. That would be very out of context if she um... said the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Go on. it would. She said... Um, she was like, oh, I've tried to apply for, like, disability pension, oh, yeah. she said. Pension? I was thinking, you're like 20. What is she on about? And she goes, oh, I have to go through a lifetime of short jokes and I can't mm. even get compensated for it. Like, mm. that's not what fucking disability <laughs> allowance is for. Like, compensation it's not compensation for being, for being like, yeah, made fun of all your life. <laughs> what a weird logic to yeah, hold. Yeah, that is weird. Really weird. It is annoying when you're short and people take a piss at you, though. Jack always takes a piss at me for being short. He's not even that tall himself. He, he was got, yeah, well, he's tall. He's not short. He's just normal height. He is he short or taller than me? I think he's taller than you. Is he? But I don't really... I never know about how tall people are because I'm not me that neither. interested in it. So, you know how some people just obsess... Oh, uh, oh you've got to be taller than me. I when girls are boring. like... I, I lived with oh. someone before who was like looking for dates, oh. right? And she's tall. She is yeah. tall for for a girl. Mm. Um, it's my friend Rosh, actually. Yeah. You know, Rosh. Oh, yeah, she's So she tall, is quite yeah. tall for a girl, but she was obsessed with the fact that these men had to be taller than her. And I was like... You're lowering your pool of options Massively so, so. Much. Every person that came through on Tinder, mm. she was having to reject because she was worried about meeting them and being taller mm. than them. Can you just ask them I don't understand. Taller, I, I mean, bothered. So a lot of girls are absolutely obsessed with people And being then she'd be like looking at the pictures, trying to work out how tall they were, if they, if it was actually accurate what they'd put on the profile and stuff oh, like that. Oh, they always lie as well. I've met loads of guys and they're a lot shorter than... But also, I who knows how tall they are? A lot of people don't. Who gives a fuck? I just couldn't care. As long as they're not you know, you're not a foot Looking, taller than like them. Down to Dan, yes, Dan yes. To Sarah. That would be weird. Yeah, that would be weird. Oh, yeah, Big Brother called Dan to Durham, didn't he? Oh, and yeah. made him stand back I mean, to the back difference between them is quite alarming. shocking, yeah. isn't it? Alarming. It's alarming. not it's alarming, but it's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> but ha- having said that, I watched Marit at First Sight Australia the other day. I did yeah. a video of it. I'm sure no oh, one's watched it. very tall. I'm sure no one's watched it. They were all white, that's for sure. Uh-huh. Every single person on it was white. But, um, yeah, this girl went down the aisle. You're on Married at First Sight where you get married to a stranger and the guy yeah. was short and she had the ump about it. It's like, oh, <laughs> what can you do? You've given your marriage over to science. Do they not? <laughs> yeah, do they not specify certain things that they would never exactly. consider? Exactly, and then they seem to like... Well, one of them, she, she he was science. too short. And then the other... He's, I know. I was science. Yeah, I said that exact same joke on my video. Um, and then the other one, like, they lived miles away from each other. So they, it's like an obstacle before it even starts, let alone the fact they well, don't fancy each other. Yeah, can, that's, distance is not an obstacle, as we learned in Too Hot to Handle from Harry and oh. Jessica, whatever she was called. Fuck that. I'm Fuck sorry them. to announce that they have broken up <laughs> in, since lockdown. Oh, well, that's a pity. Boo-hoo. Um, <laughs> Boo-hoo. So... 
in the intro, they set it up as being Team Romance versus Team Bromance. Yeah. I thought this was quite a sort of USA good. way to frame the episode. Mm, I like that. But then also pitched Sarah as the spanner in the works for these two teams. Hmm. Control lies with little Sarah. That's what Sonia said on the yeah, voiceover. Yeah, as, as if like it was like a big brother, but little Sarah thing. I found that quite condescending. Yeah, also, we just said she's going to have to put up with a joke, um, mm. a lifetime of short jokes yeah. without compensation. So think mm. about that, Sonia. You say, I think that Sarah's quite cute, really. And I think she's quite sexy in a way. Um, we said that she's really like not in proportion, like the size of her boobs she's for her got, body. Yeah, she's got a good body, though. Dan... My dad said mm. that maybe she should have a breast reduction oh, because yeah. apparently. <laughs> Fuck it out. Uh, no, maybe she would. It's <laughs> gone down, Dad. <laughs> maybe she would benefit from it because apparently, um, the the what's, weight of boobs. What's dude gonna say about that? <laughs> apparently, the weight of boobs sometimes is a strain on certain muscles. Oh yeah, it can like, be. You girls could... have a muscle on their chest that we don't have, mm. and that can be a real problem. Like, I am a girl. Holding up the boobs. Yeah. You no, get... I say we, yeah. me and Dad. <laughs> Yeah, you can get a real bad back from it. Mm. But she's got a nice boob, but it would be a shame to uh, cut those down. <laughs> cut them down. <laughs> well, so it was day 32. Yeah. Matt and Casey were strategising. Yes. By the way, I think I've got very minimal notes on this oh, episode. Oh, great. Um, no, actually, that is good. Casey mm. thinks one of Chad and Sophie mm. have to go to give mm. her any chance of winning. Mm. She's right. But also, what about Dan and Matt? Why do these people not consider them? I don't understand. Because they've got the house by the balls, basically. And everyone's just under their spell. They just seem... like Dominating. But like they're invisible to these other housemates. Mm, I know what you mean. Uh, Matt said that he wanted to weaponise Sarah. He didn't say this in these terms, but like it seemed like he wanted to weaponise Sarah to help get rid of Chad and Sophie. Mm. Sarah was like this vote which both sides were kind of vying for, yeah. I imagine. Do you think that was what was actually happening? Or that was just the storyline of today? Probably it's the storyline. Mm. It felt like it. Because that whole thing about, will Sarah go this way or that way? It was obvious she was going to stick with Chad and, and Sophie because she's been in mm, life. Casey since tried day real one. hard, though. Yeah, but come on, you ain't going to go with that. Remember she said, I'm going to schmooze her during the, oh, in the room. And I'm going to turn, turn over a new life. <laughs> Stop being nice to Sarah. Um... Do you remember the shopping task? This was the one that we oh, spoke the about earlier. workshop one. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like Maxwell, so which it kind of was. It, it kind of was. was. It, it was, was definitely based on that. That was definitely inspired by they've that. They've obviously watched Big Brother 6 UK recently. Oh, yeah, the boxes as mm. well. Or oh, they just watched Big Brother's best ever episodes. Mm. That didn't exist when they made this show. <laughs> um, so the they task... Tra- time travel to watch it. Big Brother was like, you guys have been living in my house, rent mm. free. It's time for you to earn your keep. So he gave them a load of tasks that were not in any way related to real world jobs. <laughs> <laughs> True. But he sent them to Big Brother's workshop. Mm. Did you think that was the bunker? It looked like it, didn't it? Oh, did it? I, I thought so. it looked quite big. I thought it, it did got look a big, lot of room around th- there. I think it was the same space that Angie mm. was in. It looked quite roomy, I thought. So Kieran said that um, hard work isn't on my Richter scale. Mm, no shit. Doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> Each housemate was going to have to do two one-hour shifts throughout the day. Mm. Oh, it's not exactly that much hard work. Two one-hour shifts, fuck it out. Yeah, he's already Jesus. sweating about it. Well, he was sweating all before he got the task. <laughs> um, Mind you, we do less work than that these days. I oh, might yeah. do, do about three hours on animal crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> um, did you make a note of Kieran's nickname, which we've only just found out about? <laughs> yes. What is it? Thick. And does that reference his brain power or his size? I think both. Okay. Don't you think they've, that been, they've been covering that up to make Matt and Dan look... Because that's quite horrible, like the two... Well, I was going to say good-looking, but they're makes not. It, it makes them look worse. Yeah, the two, whatever the fuck they are, twats of the house, calling the fat boy thick. I don't think that's a good look at all. No, but in the diary room, Kieran said, this is a name that I created for myself to sort of make myself look like less oh, of a threat. shut up, He Kieran. said that. He talks absolute because rubbish. Because his tongue hanging out, his polo shirts, his board shorts, and his sweaty forehead weren't enough <laughs> already. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine what Dan and Matt must have thought when they seen Hannah getting off with Kieran? It's to shit themselves. The possums couldn't believe it, I'm sure. <laughs> they were whooping in the rafters and that little long nosed mouse as well. <laughs> so, in this work workshop task, mm. they were paired up, so they had to work in pairs. Mm. Matt and Kieran always end up in a pair together, oh, which is it's odd. Annoying. 
But is it because Matt's there to throw it every time? For yeah, Kieran, probably. Although you can't throw it eating cakes. That's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> Casey and Sarah were paired up. That name mm. is smoking outside again. I can smell it. Oh. Um, He's always fucking smoking. He smokes about a billion fags a day. Yeah, everything we're saying. Um, Casey and Sarah... I mean, that's a fact. It's not... <laughs> like, it's literally... I can literally breathe in it in. Mm. I'm very sensitive to that sort of thing. Um, Casey and Sarah paired, and Casey was like, I'm going to schmooze Sarah in the in the task. Oh, yeah. But, to be honest... She actually did schmooze her, She kind of did. Yeah. She kind of did. Oh. Dan and Chad's task. Do you remember what that was? <laughs> yeah. Of course I do. What, a job that I'd be well suited to. But you weren't allowed to eat them. Licking chips, or as we call them, crisps. crisps. Why do Australians call them chips? Because that's crisps? an American thing. Honestly... Crisps is the, one of the hardest words to say, isn't it? Don't you think? Crisps. Such a weird sound. Crisps. Crisps. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> I never um, thought about it, but now I'm going to be paranoid about it. They call it. them chips, but they call chips that we call chips hot chips. And But Australians say Z like us. Yeah, they do. So why are they saying chips like Americans and Z mm, like us? Like that's weird. Pick a fucking side, yeah, Australia. Pick a side. Pick a side, mate. And now we've signed the trade deal. We're really going to have to come on board and start calling chips crisps. <laughs> Don't send us any of your hot chips. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you crisps and uh, you can send us chips. <laughs> but they won't be hot by the time they get it. <laughs> um, three flavours of crisps, wasn't it? Mm. Salt and vinegar, cheese and onion and what? Mm. Salted? They're the most boring flavours of crisps I could ever think of. <laughs> I thought they were going to have to smell them alone, but it was actually lick them. Not like my lovely beef and onion crisps oh, that I've got from Asda. She won't share those, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> she comes out with a bag of crisps and goes, here, have everything, anything you want. And it's got a little secret stash of the beef and I onion. I've hidden my favourite ones from it. <laughs> oh, I was on it straight away. I had no secret task when I said. Um, oh, fuck you now. Sophie had to... Oh, oh. <laughs> look at a light, was it? Count the light. <laughs> Count the see flashing light. how she was doing that. I've never seen such concentration. Oh, such, like, method- <laughs> methodic yeah. planning of a task and well, also, she like... suddenly had a brain. Yeah, she seemed really intelligent <laughs> about this. Like, I couldn't have thought of this. She was fucking determined. So she had to count the flashing red light. Mm. If it was a continuous light, she would put out her hand mm. over it to count it only mm. as one mm. while she counted the other side. That's hard because there's two sides to count. Mm. Oh, I would and then be shit on With every hundred, she took off a piece a ring, of jewellery. Yeah. That's... Lucky she had so many rings but, on. Yeah, and she had like hair, ba- hair bubbles mm. and everything mm. that she was using. That's good. Uh, maybe Sophie is a secret brain box and she's just pretending she's not. Mm. <laughs> or maybe she isn't. She's pretending very well. <laughs> <laughs> Casey and Sarah, what was theirs? Something like nuts and bolts in think... some gunky water. Yeah, I think they had to like t- match them up and tie oh, them up. I wouldn't like doing that. It was it was a bit like. Maxwell's task didn't you have to sort yeah, the, sort oh, yeah, the nuts and bolts you're right you're right um, Kieran and Matt they had the secret task that was actually the real task oh, well, the, the real, the real task, task is eating cakes what was that like an afternoon tea it was cakes, yeah it was wasn't was it? It? oh champagne and they're drinking champagne yeah, as well champagne it was um Basically, a secret day of pampering. I don't know how Kieran hid having six glasses of champagne. I was thinking they were going to be pissed. I would be actually Plus you'd drunk. smell it on them, mm. I would have thought. Mm. Not after all that manure. Um, no, yeah, that's true. Mm. But after the first task wasn't very smelly. I don't think there's crisps smell that, smell that much. Mm. Um, so, do you remember what Matt and Kieran said that they were doing when they were actually eating cakes? Oh, they said <laughs> they were pulling staples off a piece of wood. <laughs> Fingers be all red if yeah. you were doing that. It's the worst idea so, ever. To keep up the illusion, they occasionally just like bash, oh, yeah. bash <laughs> a, kn- a knife like on the table or the wall. <laughs> That's stupid. Also, it, if they passed this task though, they were going to double KFC. the shopping budget. <laughs> they weren't even a KFC. <laughs> Four hundred dollar shopping budget. Oh my god! If you think about the fact that they've been trying to aim for two hundred and fifty this mm, whole time, that is a lot. With like double the people in the house. That's true. This is a huge budget. That's true. Um. Casey in the diary room. Casey said to Sarah in the diary room. Yeah. Great company. This is the schmoozing. Great mm. company. Not just the company we work for. Right. What's that, Big Brother? Yeah, Big mm. Brother Enterprise. Big Brother's John, workshop. John DeMole Limited. Yeah. Speaking of which, you know that Endemol has been bought by a new company this week. Mm, no. Yeah, so it's a new company that's oh, going to be in charge of Big worrying. Brother. Oh, no, that might be good. 
Hopefully it'll just function the same way, but they're mm. going to phase out the Endermole name, apparently. That's just a little bit of boring production oh, stuff. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame.